Hey, everybody, it's Lou. Um, why ties? Everybody always asks at ICF because, you know, you don't see me in a tie too much, right? It's usually the black shirt here. Um, ties are significant to ICF because we get ties from the Intelligent Community of the Year each year. It's a tradition here. Uh, why do we wear them? Why is it a deal? Uh, because it reminds us of the accomplishments of our Intelligent Communities of the Year. For example, Riverside, California, 2012. Um, they did things that we remember with regard to their environment that we talk about. Uh, Eindhoven in the Netherlands, 2011, uh, when Philips left the city to go to China to manufacture, they kept the brains, they kept the R&D, and they rebuilt their entire economy to the point now where it outproduces the entire Dutch economy by one percentage point GDP. Uh, the flashiest, I guess, Tai was from Tai Chung, an amazing place. Uh, what do we remember about Tai Chung? A lot, but uh, 23 universities connected to their industry. They have this enormous alliance where these two entities work together. Take a look at that tie again. Oof, I actually wear it too. Um, Toronto, uh, 2014. Um, another city that is probably a model for urban design and planning. And, uh, when you're in, hopefully, uh, Canada for our top seven, uh, you'll see Toronto. The oddest gift, this is not a tie, from Winnipeg. They gave me socks, which is really cool because it has all the symbols of the city there, like the Canadian Human Rights Museum. Um, this is, by the way, a message to New Taipei City. I don't have my tie yet from you guys. Um, but it's also a message to our Smart 21 to start thinking about what ties you would give us if you were named Intelligent Community of the Year. The point of all of this exercise though, is to remind people of what the highest achieving cities accomplish. And they accomplish a great deal. Mainly, uh, they make the place that people live a great place to call home. And as we know, there really is no place like home.